Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Look at Honey. She comes She's, running to me. She, at yeah. The, the horse is She's coming. She's like my tree. <laughs> Anyways, look at her. She's getting so like. Once they lose all that fur, she still has like a ton of fur. Don't mess up her forelock. But look, she still has all this oh, stuff that has to come off. Anyway, she's losing it little by little and she's getting so dainty and so like horse-like instead of like chubby. A frog? You guys, it is like freezing cold today. It's kind of humid, but it's freezing humid. I've never experienced weather like this before. Come on, you two. Anyways, welcome back to today's video. Today I want to show you guys what Penny and I have been working on. Come on. <laughs> what do you think of that? Not only that, but she stays. <laughs> yeah, and then I walk her off when I say, so that's like a, a big part of what's, whoa, see, she doesn't like this ramp. sweater on it's chilly out and I'm gonna flip that hay over. Okay so let's talk about again when do you cut hay? The hay will be done by today and we'll be baling it this afternoon. Alright but when do you typically cut hay? When it's nice like this. <laughs> no, when it's hot. <laughs> hay is always done. Aww. This thing fits her. Hay is always done when it's it uncomfortably hot. Ears. It goes over here. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey, don't the grass. Come on, Missy. Good girl. So another thing that I think helped is having this door open. Sam, you were right. Her. <laughs> Pony says stuff doesn't fit her. Thank you, princess. Thank you. I love my girl, you guys. But honestly, she is so cute, and I can't wait to see what she's gonna look like all shed out. Her know. face is so little. So remember, we're just used to seeing her with like so much fluff. She's smelling my hands. She that you have treats. I'm so used to seeing her with so much fluff on her face, and now she's just a little tawny faced girl. She's gonna have a bit of a pot belly for sure. So Sophie was getting ready to shave her and then the weather got really cold again. So so we're let, like we're just letting her keep her little fluff until it, the next heat wave. The next heat wave, if she still has all that, she's gonna keep it. But do you see where she's getting tiny? Like she's she's tiny like in her neck and her shoulders, and she's got that baby pot belly and she's Look at Willow's cute little face. Willow's just cute. Willow is on the verge of being chubby. So we're, she we're, is. she is chubby, okay. Yeah. So she got chubby really quick. You guys know horses on grass will get chubby really quick, especially minis. So we reduced her time on grass. So she's getting a little bit less time now. And she's in with Chino a little bit more in the arena here, or in the, in the, in the dry paddock. It's just so shocking for me to see her like in her more refined growing up stage. Like I can't wait. So Sam is flipping over the hay so that it dries. Anytime you leave it overnight, the dew of the grass will make it wet on one side. So he's flipping it over again so that the bottom can redry again and then he's gonna bale it tonight. I honestly am so shook by how cute she is. Like it's when I first saw her like face without so much fluff on it, I just was like, what the heck? She's so skinny. But that's like an idea of her future face, you guys. 
And in her baby picture, she had like a lot of white on her nose. Maybe it's just her winter coat from in. And in her baby picture, she was white all the way up to her she knees. She falls asleep when you hold her head. I know. Remember that time when you were spinning and you fell into the <laughs> yes, you were I swimming. Do. I spun. I'm not good. I get dizzy. Um, anyway, you know. if it's not clear, we're excited for a time when all her baby fluff is gone. So it's gonna rain today. <laughs> it's gonna rain. So on days before it rains, we we always clean the paddock. So let's get clean in the paddock. So this is how we clean poo. This is where they poo the most in this little flat area. I love this little area. I love this little paddock. But anyways, I sweep. Come on, Ruby. Come on. She was chasing Ruby. I put it into piles. Come on, Molly. And then the girls pick it up. No, you pick it up too. Yeah, I pick it. one because you had all dirt in the pile. It's not dirt. That's what people. It's all dirt. Gabby, it's not dirt. It's the. It's poop that's decomposed. But, well, it's dirt now. Yeah, but it all has to go out. Put it in your garden. Dirt! <laughs> <laughs> now I know how frustrating it was for you guys dealing with us when we were like starting out on a farm and we didn't know anything. <laughs> Anyways, I make piles everywhere and then the girls follow me around and pick it all up while the dogs play with, with honey. Ellie, don't eat poop. Ellie, don't eat poop. Stop eating poop. And in this corner, uh, Gracie's gonna have a bath. She was in heat and sprayed herself all over. So we're gonna do that. Not Gabby's favorite job. So we got this new soap from Pervita. This is a sample size. We're gonna try it on Gracie's butt. This is a great fidget. And her tail, because she has been in heat recently and she has been peeing right down her legs. Isn't this also, isn't this also good for like healing? Um, it's or also got other stuff in it too. honest I don't even think Gracie's in heat I think she's just spraying storm with pee to get him away from her baby constantly because she's never ever been dirty before she's been in heat a lot like she's been in heat before and she's never been dirty but she just chases storm around all the time to make sure he knows not to go near her baby and every time she does she sprays pee at him and she doesn't have any other signs of being in heat, so I don't know, but I think that's why she's getting herself so dirty. It is cold outside, so Sophie made an entire bag of treats, horse treats. Oh, and you tried to put icing on these? Yeah, I'm gonna see if they I don't want you to give the ones with icing to the horses, though. So she inspired me to make my treats. I made treats. And these are we them. The I put apples in mine. And carrots in mine, molasses. That's why hers fall apart. No, I love them. They crumble. Yeah, they're like cookies. They're like, they're, they harden, but they're not like, Sylvie's are rock hard. Mine are more like the softer kind of treat. This is what it looks like all finished. It's kind of like doughy. 
Mine, I roll it out and cut the shapes. Sophie rolls hers out and cuts shapes. Hmm, I wonder if I should do that. Good. So I was thinking about doing this and then pushing them down and making them a shape. What side do you have to do? But I might do what she did and cut them so they're more even. Sophie says I should do it more this size so that I have small ones because these cookies pack a lot of punch. And so you don't have to break them apart. And you can so these are my cookies. I, all I did was make little tiny circles and then put my finger on them to push them down a little. I want tiny ones because I think that it's easier to carry and then I can give our horses a treat and they're not getting like a big huge thing. So I'm gonna cook them, I'll show you. We are getting quite the collection of horse treats. I have this bag as well. They look basically like this. You burned yours. Yeah, mine got like, they didn't get burnt. Like these ones got too thin and they're like so hard. Well, a couple did get a little bit brown on the ends. But not all of them. I think I'll probably throw those inside. I don't think horses can have burns. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be the kind of person that would stay baking all afternoon. Oh wait, I can take mine back. For horse treats. I didn't have enough. Gabby and I have our gloves on. What are we doing, Gabby? Hey. Hey. So you guys may remember that I told Sam you shouldn't have done hay. You only do hay like in the extreme heat because wait, it's the only way that it dries. It's supposed to rain in a few hours, so Sam had to bale whatever hay was dry. And unfortunately, there's a bunch of hay that's really green still, so none of it's wet. I know, it seems dry to me. He says it's not wet, but it's green. Yeah, so anyways, I don't know what we're going to do. It's a lot of bales. No, it's because he can't bail it. Actually, I think this stuff's not bad. It's that stuff over there. Like that is a lot of hay that we can't, that if it gets wet, we can't use, but it seems dry. You guys see the ladybug? Ladybug is good luck. Anyways, I don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea. I'm worried about it. I'm worried about losing all this hay. So he's just finishing up what he's doing and then when he comes back, we are going to do hay. But look, he's got like piles of hay all over. So I don't know if he's just hasn't got it done yet or if he's not bailing this stuff. I don't know. We're gonna see. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't Don't you know that you're beautiful?